Hey guys, it's the Zombie Zoe here, and welcome back to my channel. And today, um, I'm gonna give you guys a little gameplay of Dota B 2K20. Uh, it just came out yesterday, and I got it because I pre-ordered it. So I got it yesterday on launch day. So. Um, we're gonna do my career the chapter one of my career and I'm gonna I'm not gonna talk I'm gonna mute my mic so you guys can hear like the voice overs and stuff like that like the cutscenes and stuff like that and yeah so I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started Red was one of the toughest opponents I ever faced. No matter how hard I hit her, which was pretty hard, she never backed down. Sorry, it feels strange to stand up here and talk about her in the past tense. Don't get me wrong, I'm honored to do this, but I never thought it would happen so soon for Red or her best friend, Trey. Wherever Red went, Trey was there too. And tonight's no different. They truly are a package deal. They always had each other's backs and that was certainly the case when I faced off against Red in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Right now, this is anyone's match as far as I'm concerned. I'm sticking with my pick of the rookie sensation, Red, to take the briefcase. Red faced an uphill battle just to qualify for this match. You have to wonder if that'll affect your chances here tonight. Of course it will. You need to be fully rested if you want to win a grueling match like this. And Red came into tonight running on fumes. Back inside the ring. To the outside. Rousey able to counter beautifully. What grace! Float over into the Oklahoma slam. Charlotte turns it around. Nice move. DDT. Fight. Elbow smash. Interesting. There's the O again. Ah, what a smash! That is just... It's going to be a race to the briefcase between Red and Ronda Rousey. Hold on, the rest of their opponents are not ready for this match to be over. And Red and Ronda come crashing down. It's an absolute free-for-all to see who's gonna get the money in the bank briefcase. Ronda and Red have recovered, and I think they might have other plans. Oh, no. This is total chaos. The window of opportunity is now wide open for Red and Ronda Rousey. She steers clear there. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. The object here is so simple that even Saxton can understand. A superstar must climb the ladder and grab the briefcase, thus winning the right to compete for a WWE Championship at the time of their choosing over the next 365 days. Look at a game possession of the contract. Hey, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? Yeah, but when you miss a shot, you don't usually fall 15 feet. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, foot just stomping down. Oh, what for? Close line to the back of the neck. And Charlotte was able to get out of danger there. Lucky for her. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Oh, close line. Can she pull it down? Taking a bit of a chance here, Cole, and not a very well calculated one either. the button. 
Beautiful drop kick. She can match Ronda Rousey with strikes, and she's insane. And now Ronda is punishing Red. Is it too late to change my pick? Wait a second. Red reverses. Zelina Vega has recovered and is setting up a ladder. She's using everything she has left to drag herself up each rung, but will it be enough? It might not be. Red's going to try to beat Zelina to the top. Hold on, it's Andrade. What's he doing out here? Is he putting Zelina Vega on his shoulders? How is this legal? It's not only legal, it's smart. It's Trey. I think he's seen enough of Andrade. Trey has neutralized Andrade. This pains me to admit, Byron, but you might have been right about your prediction. She's going to do it. In her first attempt, Red is going to win the Money in the Bank ladder match. Wait, it's Ronda Rousey. This isn't over yet. Ronda's got Red's arm. Armbar on the top of the ladder. She's got it locked in. Red's in big trouble. Yeah, it's going to be hard for her to grab a briefcase with a broken arm. Can she escape before it's too late? Uh, this truly is a historic day. I don't think I've seen you dressed up since our senior prom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Our one and only date together because no one else would go with us. I remember showing up in that sweet, homemade, million-dollar man suit. Didn't you wear a cane mask? No wonder we couldn't get dates. To be fair, the theme of the prom was a masquerade. Eh, still weird. You have the list, right? No, I thought you had it. Seriously? I put it in the safe just like you told me to. Man, the way you treat that thing, you'd think it was the Magnet Carta. Did you say Magnet? Yeah, it's some really old, valuable Magnet, right? Just get it out of there. <laughs> no one was going to break into a hotel room and steal an old piece of notebook paper from high school. It's not just an old piece of paper. That list has been the roadmap to our entire careers, and now there's only one thing left to cross off. Did you forget the combination? It might have slipped my mind. But don't worry, I wrote it down on my phone. Which is also in the safe. This is why I always said we should have got the list tattooed on us. No chance of losing it and we'd have way more street cred. Yeah? Well, I'm gonna be getting a teardrop tattoo if you don't get that thing open.
This is what's going to give us confidence, recognition, success, everything we've ever wanted. Your Earth Science Notebook is gonna do all that? No. We're going to use it to make a list of everything we'll accomplish someday when we become WWE superstars. We could do that. Or we could play my favorite lunchtime game, Guess What Mr. Bowman's Sweat Stains Look Like Today. I'm kind of seeing a heart shape. What do you think? I think you need to take this seriously. Besides, it's a proven fact that if you write down your goals, it helps you achieve them. Actually, now I'm thinking it looks more like a one-eared rabbit. Fine. I'll go first to get the ball rolling. Become WWE Divas Champion. Your turn. Okay. Star in a WWE action movie. Really? That's one of your goals? Do you want me to do the list or not? Besides, it's a proven fact. WWE action movies are some of the finest pieces of cinematic art ever produced, so it would be an honor to appear in one. Whatever. Train at the dungeon. Come up with awesome wrestling names. Team with Mickey James. Get my own action figure. Compete on NXT. Win a dance off. Wrestle Lita. Find out what's inside Undertaker's urn. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Be in a WWE video game. Win a ladder match. I've got a match for you. My butt, your face. What are you two fartwads doing? This table is reserved for wrestling team members only. I thought there was a lot of boogers stuck underneath it. <laughs> Bunny, you can leave now. Sorry, we're busy. Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey! Being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <laughs> That was a huge mistake. Can't wait to see Red put Brooklyn in her place. Oh, so much for unbiased commentary. Hey, this is Red's memory of how it went down, so of course I'm pulling for her. You are too. Oh, yeah, I am. Go Red. This reminds me of that movie with the spinning top. Everything's confusing and a little bit off. For example, I wasn't even a WWE commentator when Red was in high school. And you're barely a WWE commentator now. None of this makes sense. Just sit back and enjoy the ride, Saxton. Brooklyn Von Braun is a terrible human being and deserves everything she's getting here tonight. I could not agree more, Michael. did to their list. I mean, what did she expect was going to happen after that? Yeah, if you ask me, a Brooklyn's real fuck one. This reminds me of the time I stood up to my bully in high school after years of being picked on. Weren't you homeschooled? Uh, yeah, but my sister was pretty tough back then. shows up Brooklyn started it right oh. Brooklyn might have an opening here oh. 
Brooklyn gets nailed with the sliding lunch tray takedown. Can Red capitalize? She's going up top. Red with the picture perfect moonsault. That's it. It's all over. Red cemented herself as way tougher and cooler than Brooklyn will ever be. That's exactly what happens when you make fun of Red. You pay dearly. I'm still kind of confused about everything that just happened, guys. Well, don't hurt your imaginary head, Byron. Wait, 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 let me get this straight. You remember your fight with Brooklyn when we were in high school taking place in a WWE arena with a ring sold out crowd and commentators? The guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning my memory? No, the guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning your sanity. Whatever. I may have taken a few liberties with my story, but that is how I choose to remember it. Well, as much as I'd love to join you in rewriting history, that day is scorched into my brain because that's how I got my nickname, Trey. This is how it really went down. Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion? Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey, being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <gasps> that was a huge mistake. Oh no, I've unleashed Hothead Red! I'm gonna take that marker, bring it to your grandmother's nursing home and cross out parts of her chart so when the nurse goes to give her turndown service, she won't know to flip her over. That's right, I wanna give your grandmother bed sores. What is wrong with you? Calm down, deep breaths, maybe we can talk this out. I'm done talking. <laughs> this is what happens when you mess with the captain of the wrestling team. What are you gonna do? Hit me with a steel chair? Put me through a table. I'm going to get help. <laughs> Everyone already knows Hothead Red, but let me introduce you to her best friend, Trey. Get it? Because he busted his butt on a lunch tray. Trey, 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 Trey. Now her face matches her nickname. That could have been way worse. Yeah, Brooklyn could have posted a video of the whole thing online. Oh wait, that's exactly what she did. I meant she could have dumped something worse on me, like mayo or hot sauce. And hey, at least she didn't destroy our list. So what? I'm not gonna do any of those things anyway. What do you mean? We were just embarrassed in front of the entire school and currently 672 people on the internet. I bet a bunch of those are repeat views. Great. We're not even touching on the fact that I got beat up by a lunch tray. 
I'm never going to be a WWE superstar. I'll just go to college and get a lame job like my parents want me to. <sighs> I think you need to read the letter again. See? This is what I'm talking about. I can't even open my locker. What's your combination? 16339, I think. Letter, please. Here we go. I think this section is relevant right now. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams no matter what they might be, to become anything you want. Using the only letter I have from my real parents as some sort of motivational speech is kind of a cheap move. They're right, though. You got a second chance in life, and you need to make the most of it. So why sell yourself short? You need to at least try. Fine. But when this whole WWE thing doesn't work out, I'm blaming you. It'll work out. I promise. Assuming you never have to wrestle a lunch tray. They're actually a lot tougher than they look. Okay, so maybe my memory of that day is a little off. Severe emotional trauma will do that. But did I really say all that stuff about her grandmother? Yep. You had some serious rage issues back then. Did you also forget that's how you got your nickname because you were always seeing red? No, I remember. And then Brooklyn tacked on the hot head part. <laughs> Gotta give her credit for that. You know, the rhyming definitely made it catchier. Hot head red, hot head red, hot head red. Okay, okay, we get it. Have you figured out that's safe yet? <sighs> no, but I'm pretty sure I use the same combination I've always used for everything, which is... Got it. Finally. Was never in doubt. I'm sorry you were locked in there all alone for so long. Mommy won't ever let that happen again. There's something seriously wrong with you. You're just jealous. We should get going, we can't be late. Hey, we got a message from President Johnson. Do you think you impressed the most electrifying president in United States history with all your career achievements? Actually, you do. All the best on your big day. I'll be watching from the People's White House. That's cool. <laughs> but I, I voted for Kane. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.